Hey peeps, so I recently tried Passion Twist for the first time and let's just say I absolutely love this style. So I'm gonna show you right now how I did them. All right, so this is the hair that I used. It comes with three bundles in a pack and I found this at my local beauty supply store for $13.99 a pack. Now, before I use braiding hair, I always prep it first by giving it a vinegar bath. All I do is run some lukewarm water in my tub pour in a generous amount of plain vinegar. Right here, I probably used a cup and a half to two cups. Then leaving each bundle of hair attached to the twist tie so it all stays together, I toss it in the water, submerge the hair, and I agitate it a little bit to really work in the vinegar water. And then I let it soak for about two hours. And by doing this, it removes the coating on the hair, which can sometimes irritate your scalp so I don't get any itching after I install it. After the two hours is up, I run each bundle under some fresh water and wring it out. And then I just let it air dry overnight right on the side of the tub. So here I am the next day. I had washed my hair the night before and air dried it in these plaits to keep it stretched and detangled like I always do. Y'all know the drill. And now I'm taking it all down, removing the bands and unraveling the plaits. I'm using some plain old olive oil here and working that all throughout my hair. Then I'm gonna start sectioning off my parts for the twists. So starting from the back and working my way forward, I'm making medium sized squares. Then using this extra hold jam, I'm applying that to my roots to get them sleek and flat brush it to smooth it all out. And using a rubber band to band all of that section of hair together. Of course, I continued with making those box sections, applying jam, brushing it smooth, and making ponytails until my entire head was done. And using this method, it really helps the finish style to look as neat as possible, especially if you're a beginner because it keeps the roots flat. It's easier to grip the hair because it's already bundled together. And the style comes out looking super precise in the end because you've already laid down the framework. Now, after I made that first row, I decided to make the rest of the parts a little bit bigger because I didn't feel like spending all day doing my hair. I was like, if I make larger sections, I can really speed this process up. So that is what I did. Then to install the twist, take down one of those little ponytails at a time. And I'm going back to the jam and applying that all down the length of my hair so it's ultra slick. It smooths out the frizziness and helps my texture blend better with the extension hair. Taking one of the passion twists and starting at the bottom, I'm unraveling it. So it looks like this. I'm gonna fold that in half and place the middle of the twist right up to where the rubber band is. Now with the two ends of the twist on each side and my real hair in the center, I'm gonna start braiding that down to about an inch and a half. Once I get there, I'm taking that piece of my real hair and moving it over to one side to combine it with the passion twist hair. And from there, I have two pieces and I'm gonna start twisting down the entire length. At the bottom, give it a twirl around my fingers and that's it, one twist down. 
Again, I'm adding jam to slick down my hair. Unravel the passion twist. Attach it and start braiding down to secure it. Combine my real hair with one side of the passion twist and then start twisting. And the thing I like about these is that even though initially when you do them, they look kind of thin, they do expand and get more full looking as time goes on, which is really nice. And then to finish off the style, I'm using this lemongrass edge gel and applying some around my hairline, then brushing and molding my edges in place. And this was my first time using this product actually. It's uber thick, so it's a bit of a test to work with, but it definitely freezes your edges and I like how it laid mine down. It gave me a really good hold all day. And that is it. So here is the final look. For my first time doing Passion Twist, I was so happy with how my hair turned out. I ended up using two packs of the hair and I had between 60 and 65 Passion Twists all together. Time-wise for this style, it took me about an hour and a half to section off my hair and do all the ponytails and then another three hours or so to make the twist. So about four and a half hours total from start to finish. And I absolutely love the fact that this hair is so lightweight. It barely felt like I had anything on my head at all. And it's extremely easy to handle and style it in a lot of different ways. It's very pliable, not stiff in the slightest. Yeah, I really have nothing but good things to say about this. It's comfortable to sleep on, great protective style. It's super low maintenance and really easy to do it yourself. But that's pretty much it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Any questions you have, leave them right below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll catch up with you all soon on my next video. Peace.